Okay, great. Um, so what I found uh, was that this handle utility should identify the files that are in use by Twonky and let us quickly narrow down to uh, what is the problem file itself so we can move it out of the way. Um, the handle utility is a free download, as I mentioned, from Sys Internals. So we'll have the link uh, here in the video notes and on my site as well in the guide. Um, Tim has already downloaded it onto his PC and then copied it onto the server and the software share. So now we're going to pull up just a moment here. Uh, remote desktop session on the server. And you can see here in the software share, we've got the handle.exe file. So what I'm going to do is copy it here onto the desktop. So uh, one of the tricks when you copy files onto the server like this is there's some extra security in Windows Home Server um, that's going to require you to unblock your applications before you can run them. So if you just right click on the file, select properties, and then unblock, you'll be able to uh, now run the file. Uh, the next step of this, it, this is a command line utility, so we're going to need a command prompt. Hopefully it doesn't scare people off too bad. Uh, basically just click start and then run and type cmd and hit enter. That will launch a command prompt. Okay, and you can see it shows the directory we're in. Uh, we need to get to the administrator's desktop. So I'm going to cd to the desktop and our handle file is here. And then the handle file is really simple to use. It'll let you just search on the part of a name of a process. Um, so, Tim, we've got one problem with the demo here. You've got Twonky stopped because it bogs down your system real heavily. Uh, we need Twonky running in order to identify uh, what the problematic file is. Okay, well, why don't you go back to the console and start it up? You know, I showed people how to stop Twonky on a Tuesday. I might as well show them how to start it on a Thursday. So, there this we go. will work well. So here's the start sharing button. We'll click that. Get Twonky going again. Now, will my performance degrade only in the console, or will it be carried across to the remote desktop? Uh, it's probably going to affect everything. It's going to slow down the uh, remote desktop as well, because uh, again, you're just killing that CPU. But hopefully, it doesn't hurt us too bad. So, in, uh, to run the handle command, uh, you just type the word handle once you're in the directory with the file. Uh, the dash p option tells it to search for a process, and we can just give it a part of a name. So, we're just going to call Twonky. And when we hit enter, we have to accept a license agreement. And then we see every single file that Twonky has open. And in this case, you see right here, uh, this line 158 that it's showing, it is showing that the fearless VOP file is one that it's stuck on. Okay. So um, at this point, we would want to stop Twonky, move this file out of the way, and then start Twonky up again. Now, obviously, this leaves us in a bit of a, uh, a quandary, right? I mean, we're, we're getting rid of movies, files that we want to watch, potentially, um, but we're having to do it in order to gain access to the rest of our files from Twonky. So you're in a bit of a, uh, you have to make a tough decision there if that's what you want to do. Well, you know, I use the DVD shrink option as a backup because I have the legitimate DVD, so I'm fine with trashing it. Okay. So we have to stop Twonky in order to uh, have it let go of the file so that we can move it. Okay. And do you mind if I go ahead and do that, Tim? No, go ahead, please. All right. So I'm going to browse here. I it's in videos. Client. Yeah, it's in videos under DVD movies. And okay. I've just done one of the, the typical fashions, which is just to create a folder and copy in folders and use DVD shrink as a backup solution, and then copy in the JPEG files to where it'll show up on Windows Media Center. So, okay, great. Yeah, we can delete any of these. I have the original DVDs. Okay, available. we're not going to delete it. We're just going to get out of the way of where Twonky indexes. Okay. And so I'm just going to move it here onto the uh, desktop as a quick solution. Okay, now it's about four and a half gigabytes. So it's just going to, at this point, it's dragging from the home server to the desktop, which is a separate location. So it's actually going to copy the file, correct? Yeah, that's because I accessed it through the network share here, which is the preferred way to access your shares when you're directly on the server. Um, so we may just need to let that run in the background. Okay, uh, we got that file moved out of the way now, and uh, we're going to start Twonky back up and see if the indexing continues uh, and, and see if it gets hung somewhere else or not. So I've clicked uh, the Start Sharing button here again. 
and it does take a uh, you know, number of seconds for Twonky to start up. Uh, but we should see the last database update uh, indicator there change here pretty quick, hopefully. Okay, so best case is that my fearless uh, backup was corrupt in some way for Twonky to read it, and this may solve it, correct? Yeah, uh, I, I'm hesitant to call it corrupt because in my case, the file that caused fits for Twonky, there's nothing wrong with it. Um, it played fine. It, it, you could view the metadata just fine with media info and some of these other utilities that look at the media. Um, so, I, I, I mean, I want to call it a Twonky bug. There's, for some reason, they get hung up on some of these files, and we just don't know why. Well, I have, you know, 50 plus um, DVDs that I've backed up. So my, my hope is, is that maybe at some point in the future, until the patch is released or until a fix is released, I can just not watch Fearless over my Windows Media Center. Worst case is it keeps stalling in, and I have to do this for each of the movies in my collection. Yeah, that would be unfortunate if it's everything. But I think the fact that it got through to Fearless, um, there was there was you know a dozen or so um, movies before that. Okay, so uh, now it's going to Sky Captain. So it's moved past for sure. Um, do we have any idea for the listeners out there? You know, I, like I said, I've got probably three thousand songs in iTunes, which have of course duplicated for Zune. And then I've got probably 50 DVD movies plus probably 100 TV shows. Do we have any idea of how long this takes? I mean, should, should we expect expecting hours or, or days for the original upload? Oh, I don't think so. Uh, rebuilding the Twonky database is pretty fast. Again, it's just looking at the metadata real quick to index your stuff. Um, I've got maybe seven or 8,000 songs, hundreds to thousands of pictures, depending on <laughs> what I've got in there at the time. And, and many videos as well. And it can, it can index those pretty quick, like in minutes to hours at the most. Um, it, it should be a fast process. Do Obviously, you, if, your sys, if your server's loaded doing other things, uh, that might add to the time. But in a, good, in a good scenario, it should go pretty quick. OK, so for example, I have another VOB file here that it may or may not be stalling on. So this may be something I want to watch. As a user, I want to watch and see how it's going. Or right. Or is, it seems to be going to be run your utility again, correct? To see I, if actually, I'm going to run um, Task Manager and just see if uh, okay. the system's heavily loaded.